And hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Longest Journey. Now, if you remember last time, April had just successfully reunited the Alation and Marum peoples. You know, they will be one people going forward, and gotten the combined stone disc from them, and she has now been led by the Alation deep under the ocean, where she is about to face their sunken god, the god living beneath the oceans who can tell her what she needs to do next, basically. So, we're going to catch up with April at the bottom of the sea and continue with The Longest Journey. And here we are down, are down at the bottom of the ocean. The sand is covering something. You think? That's a weird rock. It just doesn't look natural. There's nothing natural about any of this, April. See what's behind this sand. Okay. It's some kind of organic sensor. It's soft and spongy. Looks like you're poking somebody in the eye, April. Hello? Is anybody in there? Spooky. Well, I guess it's an invitation of sorts. Yeah, I guess we need to go in there, huh? There's air in here. And it's dry. I swear I'm never taking a bath again. That doesn't look like a natural protrusion. It's too big and round. And let's have a long conversation. I'm sure you would. Like I said, this is a long conversation. Um, using my somewhat arbitrary decision making sometimes, um, I'm going to play through this one as opposed to summarize it. So. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I need some answers. Everyone needs answers. Everyone has questions. I am not the oracle. I cannot answer all your questions. I don't expect you to answer all of them, but I was hoping for an answer to at least some of them. Then ask and be gone. Yeah, if it's not obvious, we are talking to the blue dryad Ken. Yes, this is a dragon. What am I? What do you mean? You said you know what I am. What am I? You do not know. Then it is not I who should teach you about your heritage. You must make this discovery on your own. Listen, I'm tired. I'm wet. I'm at the bottom of the sea and I'm breathing with the help of a polyp stuck in my esophagus. So just cut the Buddhist bullshit about a journey of self-discovery and answer my question. Please? Your question has 
has already been answered. That is all I will tell you. Your journey began with an answer. It is only now that you know the question. That's so not helpful, but thank you. And it's been a long journey to get here. You might say, it's, okay, I'm going to have to stop making that joke someday, but the game keeps setting me up for it. I'm looking for a jewel called the Dragon's Eye. Yes. I have one such jewel. I guess that's it. Take it. Are you sure? Take it. It is yours now. It is part of your destiny. Okay. Tell me if it hurts. I need to know where I can find the gateway to the Guardian's realm. So you come to me? They told me... Well, they, as in the few people who could tell me anything at all, they told me that if anyone would know, it'd be you. I know. When the Earth was divided, there was a doorway left open where the tower was built. But it's moved, hasn't it? That spot, when Stark and Arcadia were created, that spot moved somewhere else. Into the sky. Amongst the stars. But where? I knew you were coming. Your journey has not been a quiet one. Even down here, I could hear you. I speak with the dark people. They are my messengers. They have prepared a map for you with the entrance you are looking for. You knew I was coming and why? Then, okay, I know this is probably a futile question, but why didn't you send the Dark People to me earlier? You could have saved me a lot of time and hard work. You are afraid of time and hard work. No, but it's the principle of it, isn't it? No, it is not. You had prophecies to fulfill. You had a purpose. Bringing my children together in preparation. This was important. And for that, I thank you. What is the Day of Ascension? The day when the kin return home. When my siblings come to me and we rise toward the stars for our journey back to our cradle. This is the day of ascension. So you're going back to wherever it is you came from? We will, eventually, when everything is ready. When what's ready? I will not answer that question. It is not necessary for you. You said something about a map? The dark people have it. They will meet you. I will bring you to them. What? Now? Yes. Hold on. Well, are you going to sleep or are you going to take her to meet the dark people? Make up your mind, dragon. Okay. And that's odd.
pretty big dragon. Is she inside of him, or is she riding on his back, or what's going on here? Yeah. And yeah, I guess that looks like a ship that the dark people would operate. Um, okay. And I bet that's a dark person. What do you think? Let's see what they have to say. Thanks for taking me on board. Who are you? Oh, uh, well, I thought you... I mean, didn't the old dragon... Well, I'm April Ryan, from Stark. And I guess you're a dark person. But who are you? I... I'm just a student. Not anybody special. You are special. Who are you? I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> I'm the Windbringer. I'm the Water Stiller. I'm April Bondu Mbata of the Banda and the Venar Kungung La. I'm a shifter. I will someday become the 13th Guardian, the Protector of the Balance. And I'm April Ryan. This is who I am. Yes. That is who you are. And you are a wave. And I have to say that I just love April's res response to the question, who are you? I mean, she says, I'm just a student, but oh, I have like 12 things that I have accomplished. You know, you're not just a student, April. But yeah, that's, I just love that response. Why am I uh, a wave? You have a purpose. You play an important part in the cosmos. A wave is someone who propels people and events toward change, towards the future. And... that's what I do? You are a wave. There are ripples from your passing, and they spread wide and far. Those ripples will never die down. The worlds will be changed by your journey. You're telling me that everything I do affects the universe? You cannot escape it. You are a wave. Yes, everything touched by your journey, which is a very long one. Oh, I said I wasn't going to do that anymore, but the game keeps setting me up. <sighs> the ancient dragon, the blue of the Drake kin, told me you had a map for me. A map of stars, yes. It was made for you in our library and given to me to hold. It is yours now. Keep it well. It is the only one. I'm looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. You came for the stone. Of course we have it with us. Our ship would not have been chosen to meet you were it not for the stone we carry with us. Everybody's just waiting around for me to show up, so that they can give me stuff. Who knew adventuring was going to be this easy? It will not always be so easy. Of that I can assure you. But here is our stone. We entrust it to you. As we were instructed to do when the Fathers first entrusted it to us. Can this ship take me back to Mercuria? I mean, would you mind? We will bring you to Mercuria henceforth. It will take the night. But we will be there at first light. That's fine. Thanks a lot. You are free to rest here, to sleep, while we travel. The flames will keep you warm, but do not move too far away. My brothers are not friendly with outsiders. They do not take kindly to intrusion. I'll keep that in mind. I'm staying right here. Good. Sleep. Yeah, it is a little odd that they just, oh, you need the map? Here. Oh, you need the stone? Here. And look, we're in chapter 9. But yeah, they just hand this stuff over to her. Everything so far, she's had to do various adventure gaming related puzzles before she's allowed to get whatever she's after and, oh, here, have the stone, have the map. Yeah. And this is another spot where the game just gave us a long 
black screen with sounds in the background for you know I didn't that wasn't me pausing for conversation that was just what the game did did you sleep very comfortably thanks where are we in the Marcuria Harbor but there are barely any ships here I do not know why we must leave you here we have other business Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky... Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like... like smoke. What's going on here? Well, right before you left April, you were told the Tyran were on their way to invade. Um, I think you can put two and two together here. Okay, things are going to start happening very rapidly right now. This is actually a low interactivity chapter, but you'll see. Let's try to go into the city. This is not going to end well. I know that sound. Oh yeah, that thing. And I know that vortex! Oh, shit! Cortez must have found me, and just in the nick of time, too! God, that was close. And what caused that shift to open just in time? It has to be Cortez. Finally! Hello? Anybody there? And yes, we're back in Stark. Finally. And why does he Who's there? It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. Yeah, why didn't April walk over to see that guy as soon as he walked up as opposed to hiding in the corner there for a second? But... Father Raul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. Okay, um, this is another conversation I am going to skip through because it's... I'm not sure how I decide what's important or not, what's not, but I'll summarize this one. We'll be back in a minute. All right, here's what we found out. Uh, the main thing is that Father Raul here is a sentinel minstrel. He knows all about Arcadia and Stark and the balance and all that stuff, and he actually sees no conflict in theology with the fact that he is both a sentinel minstrel and a Catholic priest. So I guess the Catholic priests in the 23rd century are pretty open-minded, surprisingly. Um, he also talks about Cortez. Cortez is very old, he says. Cortez has apparently lived for centuries. Cortez is also very powerful in magic, and he met Father Raul years ago. And Cortez has been waiting all these years for a certain person to arrive or be born or come along. And apparently he's been talking about April. But Raul has no idea where Cortez is. Cortez disappeared a week ago, and they haven't seen him since, and he's really very worried about it. So they basically caught us up again on the balance and the struggle between order and chaos and all that, but there's nothing really new that we have to worry about, so let's head on and see if we can find out what's going on. I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that, that I've been worried. All right. We can now head on out. And find out what's been going on here in Stark in the past week that we've been going in Arcadia. Well, the fact that every single person is missing off this street probably tells us something. Let's go hop on the subway. Oh, look, there's a taxi. Okay. Alright, and now how do we get on the subway? Wasn't our subway pass only good for a week, and it's been a week, but 
Okay. Just stapler up there. Okay. Um, we just left here. We can go to the docks and see if Burns Flipper has got our fake ID for us, but actually if we go there, the doors are closed and we can't get in. So let's head back to East Venice and see how people at home are doing. I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. It looks like the same clothes you've always worn, April, except with a, um, with reversed color palettes. But whatever. Hmm, there's no one here either. Does it bother every anyone besides me that there's apparently no one around? Well, except for that guy we saw sleeping outside the subway, but... Hmm. And should that door be open? Yeah. This isn't going to be good. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's run, the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Yeah, this doesn't look good. Who's this guy? Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on! Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little... party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. That's not good. That's Gordon Holloway, by the way. What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier. But then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. Uh, yeah, this is Gordon Holloway, like you said, and... Yeah, I guess the shit has pretty much hit the fan at this point, but... What do you want from me? We want you, and what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respected that. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water, and so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I will go on a little trip. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this isn't very good, but do the Vanguard have shifters of their own? Or do they just have a way of communicating between the worlds? Because obviously they know what's been going on. Obviously they've had contact with the Gribbler and Clax. But how do they know this stuff? How do they get this information back and forth if they don't have shifters? Or is there some kind of 
interdimensional radio or something? Who knows? There's nothing I have that you could possibly want. Leave that decision to me, Miss Ryan. Just hand it all over, and we can let these fine people return to their pathetic little lives. You have caused them enough pain, yes? But first, we still need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Yeah, that probably could have What the hell is going on? And, of course, you know Zack had to be behind it, didn't you? Get out of my way, Zack! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me! They just shot Emma! Who did? The agents, the Vanguard! But they said, they said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were they just gonna- They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No. I mean, they were just gonna arrest you, you bastard! You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I- I didn't- <sighs> And I can't say I feel really sorry for Zach, do you? Zach, are you- Shit! Why are you so upset about that, April? He probably deserved that. All right. You have a little bit open of time up. here, um, but this is a time sequence. What you have to do we'll is look the out door. the window. And then jump. Let's do it. Oh, Take God, it down. this is not going to be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April! Oh, shit! Ah! Can April still breathe underwater? Does she still have that polyp in her? esophagus. I really wonder. And this is another long blank sequence of just sounds. The game started doing these all of a sudden. I'm not quite sure about it. But yeah, okay. Well, she sounds like she's on the surface, so I guess she's not breathing underwater. If that is water, anyway. Oh, we're back. And now that... What is that? Is that a guard? Is that a robot? I mean, I can't tell what that's supposed to be. Yeah, 1999 graphics, I understand, but still. Alright. Now, we really can't leave. Oh, shit. Somebody's watching the entrance. There's no way I'm getting by without him seeing me. But there's no other way out of here, either. Well, fortunately, we have a few things. Remember Clax a while back? Oh look, we still have the invisibility potion. Isn't that good? And why'd you go there before you drank it, Abel? Now we can sneak out of here. No, she can't run. I was trying to hit the run button. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Nah, probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? And I recognize that voice, but I think it might be this Charlie's voice actor again. I got my body back! That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, I don't want to think about what would have happened. Yeah, unfortunately, we no longer have the invisibility potion. That was about the last item. So, um... <sighs> the only place we can really go at this point is to head over to the cafe. And I don't know why April feels she needs to go there, but that's pretty much the only option available to us. Um... So, but yeah. The heroine has to... Let's go to the place where they know I hang out. Smart move, April. Fortunately, remember the door that we looked at way back in episode 2 or something like that, that I said, that door never has anything to do with anything? Well, technically the door doesn't, but... What's that? The mystery door. It's open. Yeah, the shift that forms in front of it does have something. Oh, look. It's the old woman from the, pre from the prologue. Lady Olane. 
I think is her name. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure, actually. I'm not in Venice anymore. Now I know how Alice and Dorothy felt. Yeah, this is the Lady Alpe, which we just call Old Woman right now. But let's see what she knows. Welcome, April Ryan. I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Elvane is my name now. And where am I? What's this place? This is my home. The house of all worlds. This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. It's similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers, and your journey continues. It's been written, and we cannot change that now. Yeah, there's a couple of interesting things in that conversation that I'll point out later. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help. But I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today She's and... not dead. What? What did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others, Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and for not letting them in on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many. And you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... on you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help you. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... this talent, but it's not true. If I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best, to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive. But they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Alvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh, I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain.
And is it just me, or was chapter 9 basically the shortest one we've done so far? Anyway, we're back in Arcadia and Mercuria again, and I'm going to break off for a stop here because this makes a good spot for it. Um, I did want to mention a few things from that last conversation. Basically, um, well, the main thing I wanted to point out and become important later is that El Lady Alvane said that I am now known as Lady Alvane. So Lady Alvane used to be someone else. And, but it's good to know that Emma's still alive. Hopefully Zack isn't. But anyway, we're going to find that out in the future. And that will be the next time. So I'm going to call this a little stop here. And next time we will catch up with April as she has returned to Mercuria. And we will find out what is happening in the face of the Tyrant invasion. So until then... This is Dennis, this is Tenstavel the Paleo Gamer, and I will see you next time.